Okay, so today we're back in the shop, uh, again working on our Project Mark 7 GTI, and we're gonna deal with one of the most common issues on a modern Volkswagen or uh, any modern direct injected car, and that is gunk on the valves. So unlike a traditional port injected car where fuel washes carbon deposits off of the intake valves, direct injected cars like these don't have any way to really clean their valves, which means that they get dirty. So today we're gonna be walnut blasting the car. I already spent an hour or so taking the intake manifold off so we could actually see the valves, and uh, we could see they're pretty darn gross. So how did we know the valves were dirty on our GTI. Um, well, the first sign was actually kind of a rough idle and uh, an intermittent check engine light for a misfire, a couple different codes. And after talking to a couple experts between the mileage on the car, about 40,000 miles now, and the symptoms, we figured it was a pretty good bet the valves were filthy. And now that we've pulled the intake manifold, we can say that yes, they are. They're completely covered in crap. So we think cleaning these up is gonna help the car run better and uh, we'll do spark plugs while we're in here since we have to pull them out anyway. So this is also a fantastic time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, 034 Motorsport. So throughout this project, we've been putting 034 parts on all kinds of different areas of this car. Uh, we've got a PCV system here. We've got their camber plates, their sway bars, their springs, a um, couple other odds and ends. And every single part they make has been well made, well thought out, and uh, kind of just help this car be faster uh, on track without completely ruining its street manners. Um, they've also kind of thought of everything. So when we told them we were doing the valves, they said, oh yeah, we have a product for that. So just because to show that they know these cars really, really well, um, the company is actually run by enthusiasts. They have these cars on staff and uh, they really, kind of thought of everything and make a part for pretty much every issue these cars have. So if you want to support us and support 034 Motorsports, you can check out their website, the link in the description. So I know how to pull an intake manifold, but I don't actually know how to do walnut blasting. Um, I've never done it before. I don't have the uh, equipment or anything. So instead, Jesse Spiker of Spiker Motorsports is gonna come over and do it for us. Now, Jesse's a longtime friend. He runs a race shop a couple miles away from us, and he really knows his stuff when it comes to modern cars like this. So we're gonna hand it over to Jesse and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so as promised, we're here with Jesse Spiker of Spiker Motorsports, mm -hmm. and uh, Jesse actually knows what he's doing, unlike us. So he brought his walnut blasting gear, he brought his expertise, and uh, Jesse, what are you gonna do? Well, basically we have a pressurized can with walnut shells in it. You close the valves, you blast the back of the valves. While you're doing that, you shot back everything out, cleans everything. So nice, quick, safe, reliable way to clean them. And we'll be done in about 15 minutes. Perfect, and so why walnut shells instead of like sandblasting or something like that? Well, since we're on the intake side of the motor, they're gonna get in the valves, which can potentially get sucked into the engine. Now we close the valves before we do this, so we're gonna shop back it all out and get as much out as we can. But in the event something goes in the engine, the walnut shells are gonna disappear before they damage anything. So the equipment that we're using today is actually available at Harbor Freight, as well as the walnut shell material. Um, don't exactly quote me on price, but I want to say- 99 I looked. Okay, as good. I, I believe I have less than $200 total into the abrasive, the equipment itself and anything I modified to make it work how I wanted it to. All right, so the first step, basically, we're gonna roll the engine over, make sure the valves are closed on the cylinder that we are currently working on. And then we're gonna pressurize our walnut blasting apparatus and get to work. So it's 15 minutes later, um, the intake valves on our GTI are now like absolutely spotless. So thank you, Jesse. That was, I mean, absolutely. you got some walnut all over you, but it, that was quick and easy, pretty painless. Um, yeah, valves are cleaned. We're gonna button the car back up and see how it runs. Okay, you can probably tell we are doing class outside today because for once we are driving our GTI. We are not stuck in the shop anymore. Cleaning the intake valves seems to have fixed the problem. We don't have any more check engine light. We don't have any more rough idle. We are out and about enjoying the car again. So if you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you at the track. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And for more information, visit us online at grassrootsmotorsports.com.